Hello everybody, welcome back. Nice nice morning here. Wanna get a lot done today. Me and Dave are gonna gather all those bales up. I gotta get the 7130 unhooked from the rake and the 7410 unhooked from the tether. We're gonna Dave's gonna run this on the wagon as I load with 7130, so that's gonna be the first thing I wanna get done today. I got the 7410 on the wagon. Dave's here. So and you, as you guys seen, I gotta pull a bale out of the woods that Dave rolled down in there. I think every year at that same exact spot, I gotta pull a bale out of the woods. But it ain't too bad. You just reach down in there with a the loader and stab it, get her out of there. We'll get her, don't worry. So we got that first field loaded up. He's behind me, going back to the front side. Down into the woods. We'll get her. Into through all the trees. This might be the worst one in a while. Get it off the forest this way without losing it down in the woods again. Down we go. So as Dave gets unloaded, I go to the next field, put all the bales and pairs in a line. Uh, he's back right now. So then when he pulls in, I can load him right up. It's all about efficiency. I got 17 bales in a row. Waiting on Dave to get back. Some good hay this time. Want fine, there's some coarser stocks, but shooting for fine hay for the heifers, but I'm pretty happy with how this stuff looks. Well, we're all, almost to the halfway mark. Here it comes. Better get back in my tractor, get ready to load them. So I kind of got like a pet peeve about loading bales. I always make sure they're like in that little little lip of the wagon. I never let a single bale hang out from that. I had too many uh, bad things happen, I guess you could say, because I was going down the road one time, bale fell off a wagon, hit a mailbox. I don't even know how it came off the wagon, but it did. Uh, coming down a hill one time, axle broke off the wagon. That wasn't my fault, that was the wagon fault. It was faulty. Um, yeah, so that's why 
I just run the loader tractor. I'm, I don't like the haul bales. I just like to load them. So that's why I'm the loader guy. Me and Dave, we work really well together in the field. Think alike, so it goes smooth and efficient. Well, I'm back waiting again. Walk down here to this bean field and see what the beans are looking like. Oh yeah, coming up good. I don't know if you can see down the road like I can through the camera here, but pretty happy with that. Playing it into this heavy cover, which I mean it doesn't matter, they're coming up good. Well, back to the tractor. It's gonna be 91 today. It's gonna be hot, so. But, I know one thing, you can't really see it from here, but there's fence rows, or the, yeah, along the woods there, there's high weeds, so. I'll be hooking the bush hog up this afternoon, bush hogging along the woods. But back into the air conditioning. He's back. Got to get ready for action. Get myself some throttle so the hydraulics respond good. Unloading down to the last field. Last load down here. Gotta go up the road yet. Hey buddy. Heading up the road now to get those two bales from the other day. Um, I have a great idea. I'm gonna put one on the back of Dave's truck and I'm gonna take the other one down with the tractor down the road. So I think we'll be alright. So I don't want to drag the wagon the whole way up the road if I didn't have to. So one on the forks when we come back down and one on Dave's truck, we'll be good. Dave is here. Hopefully we can get this on good. Well, the bed didn't fall off. It's good. Bush hogs hooked up. It's almost lunchtime. We'll be heading up to the Blaine Hotel. Good place, hit it up. That's right. We took that spreader up yet before lunch. After lunch now, got spreader to 7130. I'm gonna spread some manure and then probably jump at the bush hog. So pretty much the gist of what I'm doing is this is all the manure from when we scrape our acro barn. So there's no straw in it and stuff, it's just manure. Which I like to spread on the hay fields because it'll break it, it'll break down until we make the hay again. And it puts nutrients back in the ground. Um, I did this last year in a few hay fields and it really boosted the hay bales. I think we, one field, it was just a small field, we got five, four bales than what we did last year. So it, it works. So I'm gonna keep doing it here because we got nowhere else to spread it until we take weed off. So I thought this is a good use for it. So I go at a faster speed, keep it thin, put it on, works good. So I'll show you what this manure looks like. See there's just a little bit of straw in it, that was in the back. But most of it's just watery, wet manure and it'll blend right into the field. So I'll show you what the field looks like after I get this load spread. This is my last load here. So it won't get the field completely covered, but it'll get most of it. Here's what it looks like, just a thin layer of manure. Never took the spears off, but it'll be fine. Well, I think I'm gonna go jump into bush hog now. Get working on those fence rows. That's like my favorite thing to do. 
pretty much the gist is here. I'm gonna take the bush hog, 15 foot bat wing mower, down along this woods here, and cut back what the hay bind can't get, or what you don't want the hay bind to get, pretty much. And so the field doesn't, we don't lose field every year if we do this. The field stays where it should stay. Hard to tell on camera, but it just cuts the first well, as deep as I can go because you know you can't push hog along the woods without your mirror getting pushed in against the tractor. But I go as deep as I can go without breaking anything. I cut the weeds and bushes back, and it makes a difference. You do it once or twice a year, you won't lose any field. And since I planted beans in these fields, I got to back up this long waterway to mow it so I don't run any baby beans over. It ain't that bad. It's pretty much straight. Look here, what's the ride today? This right here is when I've been dying to get cut back. What do you think? I think it's pretty bad. We'll get her mowed. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but that's much better. I keep doing that, those bushes and weeds will go away. I'm telling you, these mowers are what's up. I got the other side of this ridge to do yet. And then we'll see where that takes us. It'll be almost time to get to the barn to do our regular evening work. Emily graduated last night. She is now out of school. <laughs> yep. What do you think of that? Same old. Yeah, it's not the same old. It's much better. <laughs> so. Yep. Still mowing. She wanted to come ride today. You know, very exciting here. Mowing weeds and trees with the bush hog. <laughs> but, hey, if she wants to come along, might as well let her because someday, the women get tired of riding the tractor with you. And any man with a woman that's a farmer knows they don't want to ride in a tractor with you forever. So you might as well let them ride while they want to because it will change. Right? Probably. Yeah, see, you get bored with me sometimes. You used to, not, you used to ride with me longer and now you ride with me less. Yeah. But at least she still comes along. I'm not the one on the camera, so if it looks bad, yell at her. Everything's back in the shed for tonight. Gonna call it a day on the field work. I gotta get up to the barn. So if you want, like this video, like and subscribe. We got more to come.